So, I decided to um, do a video reply to my own video about these four police officers being killed. And, of course, YouTube wouldn't let me do a video reply. So, I'm going to do this video off the side. Let me repeat. Don't nobody deserve to die. Not the cop, not the kid, not us. Somebody sends me something. A 15-year-old boy is tasered to death. Have we all gone mad to the point to where we don't trust the people we put in front of the door to protect what's inside our homes. We don't trust our police officers no more. We got young people saying, it's good these four cops died. Yeah, fuck them. Look at what they do to us. Now, how does this feel? Now they feel like we feel. They don't feel like we feel. They're doing a job. They hurt worse than we hurt because they are an organization built on protecting the people. It's the majority of the people, not the minority. They protect us as a whole, and I do not appreciate anybody saying that anybody need to die. Not the man on the back of the horse with the sheets on his head. That son of a bitch don't deserve to die. Not the man stringing people up from trees. He don't deserve to die either. Not the troops overseas. They don't deserve to die. Not the people that they're shooting at. They don't deserve to die. No one deserves to die. We live in a society where every man, boy, or girl has the right to life. Don't nobody deserve to die. You telling me that this guy was so scared he wanted to shoot first and ask questions later? Society made him think that way. We all make him think that way. Just like the people who type on the bottom of the page, those cops deserve to die. And if, if, if you lose that, if you use that, if the cops deserve to die, then the criminals deserve to die. Then the people deserve to die. And if all we are are meant to die, if we all, if our only purpose on this planet is for us to die, then maybe we ought to just rush outside right now, hop in our cars, find the highest cliff and everybody at the same time jump off. Death is an honor. Death is something that people overseas are willing to die for causes. We here in America, we dying for drama. We dying for bullshit. Don't nobody deserve to die. Not the boy in Oakland, not the man in San Francisco, not the guy in New York, not the guy trying to walk down the street, not the lady over here, not the officer trying to see what's going on. Nobody deserves to die. These police officers out here, their whole purpose, their sole purpose is to protect me and you. If they deserve to die, who's to say that we don't deserve to live? Now what if all of a sudden, those who rode in the night start riding again? What if they start riding again to pick up anybody they can to go kill them? Some man or some woman or someone may think that, you know what? It's in America's best interest for every black person to die. If every black person was dead in America, life would be easier for poor white people. And that person has another person who thinks, yep, yeah, you're right. We ought to just start killing black people. And then somebody writes down the bottom of one of them pages, you're right. Every black person should desire to just be gone, dead. Then as a black person, be like, these people are wrong. They deserve to die. Maybe if all poor white people were dead, then poor black people would honestly finally have a chance to have a regular life. Maybe all poor white people should die. But then somebody would be like, nope. We need the Mexicans. But then there's some white guy who says, you know what? Mexicans are taking jobs from poor white people, so maybe all the Mexicans should die. 
Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? If a group of people thinks another group of people should die, and enough of those people get together, shit happens. We live in a society where one group of people always pushes the other group of people down. Regardless of what color, whatever, whatever, it's a socioeconomic thing. There's poor people, there's poor police officers. Nobody deserves to die. Nobody should be scared enough to have to shoot first and ask questions later, period, period. Nobody should be so worried about their life that they really to take people out to make sure they can survive. Nobody should be afraid of somebody else forsaking life or death. Yes, the police tasered me and some police need a foot in their ass. The lump is still in here. But don't nobody deserve to die. Did I deserve to die when I got out the car and had my hands up and tell the lady, hey, you don't have to do this. What if she thought? What if, what if what I did happened today. This man got out of his car. I'd be blown away because of somebody else's bullshit. Somebody else's bad judgment. Somebody else's fear. I'd be dead because of somebody else's fear. Shit, he got out the car. I thought he was going to shoot. She would have killed me. It would have been justified because of this bullshit. Now, for the next, the rest of the year, Every cop driving down the street is going to shoot first, ask questions later, because they're scared. If you give people a reason to go kill people, people will kill people. Nobody deserves to die. Guns need to be outlawed. The police need not have guns. The criminals need not have guns. Nobody has the right to to take somebody else's life, regardless of who they are. And this is your lady or man or whatever sent me a letter uh, saying that I'm a parolee and I'm not messed up. I don't like parolees. Because of what parolees did to my, my, my cousin. Now, my bias is already messed up. I'm already biased against parolees. But this person is right. I'm not the parolees that did this stuff to your cousin. I'm a parolee. I, I don't appreciate what you said about parolees. Not per all parolees go get the help. Not all parolees go to their meetings or, or whatever they their stipulation. Not all parolees follow the rules. And if you get out of prison or jail and you can't find a job and everything is closing in on you, you got pressure from the law, you got pressure from your family, you got pressure, and the pressure's at the boiling point where you can't do nothing but try to survive, nobody should be placed in that situation. Stipulations shouldn't be placed on a person to where they cannot survive. So I apologize to those parolees doing the right thing. But for those parolees who can't do the right thing because the situation, don't do the wrong thing because that's the only thing you know how to do. You need to flip the script. Yeah, you've been pushed in a situation to where you cannot win. Yes, you got to do what you do to survive. Yes. By all means necessary, do what you can to survive. But if you got to kill somebody else because you don't want to go back, because you don't want this, because you don't want that, then you're on your own. No man dies on my watch. No man need die in a civilized society. My condolences go out to the cops. My condolences go out to the young man's family. My condolences go out to the little boy taser to death. But my main condolences go out to the American people because we don't need none of this shit from either side. No man need die and we all live to survive. Let's do it together instead of worrying about who gonna do what.